Good morning, YouTube. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, Marky. Good morning. And John the Turtle. Oh, there, YouTubers. <laughs> morning, John. Morning, John. Uh, today is the 13th of November, and it is the first snow here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it is 34 degrees. And Cold. It's a raw day out here. It's just not nice by any means. And I'd like to thank our 45,700 subscribers. And you know. please subscribe and please share our videos with other people. We do not have Instagram. I don't have Facebook. I don't have none of the social media. So what we do on YouTube is it. That's You, you won't find me nowhere else. So um, help us out. Help us out, please. So what do we got going today? Ed? Oh, we're going to cut some roof rafters, some two, two, full two by eights. This is for you. Yeah, I got to get a roof on. I should have had on about two months ago. Yeah, I guess we're all guilty of that. We got to get the kiln project on. You got your project on. Uh, there's only so many hours in a day. And uh, I, I'm glad everybody, uh, I've seen we had, as of this morning, I think it was over 4,000 views. I was up back in uh, tearing that uh, house down, collapsing the foundation, and the curse come back. The hose blew on the back of it one more time. So I can't uh, well. win. And I'm not going to go rent a machine. It's just fix it. Needs to fix it anyway. Fix it. Work with it. It'll do a fine job. And I like the old stuff. I don't know. 1966. I was born in 65. So that machine is one year younger than me. So yeah. that's uh, it, it's doing very well for its age. I'm not doing as well as the backhoe, I don't think. But uh, well, we better get going. Yeah, get we sit here so. too long. We're going to get nothing yeah, it's done. Getting nice and warm by this fire. So. No. Alrighty, it is showtime. And we're gonna saw Eddie some two by eights. And I mean full two by eights. So I'm gonna turn my little heater on in here. It is a little chilly. But it is getting into that time of year again. So let's open up these knees a little bit. I got a lot of glare in my cab today so my view is pretty bad actually but we'll, we'll get through it somehow I'm sure and let's get the first log on the carriage here yeah it's going to take it a minute to warm up I want to see what I have to deal with here. Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? This log has a few, few serious defects in it. All right, let's get the master dog down. shape to it it's one of them logs all right let's see what we get here Get my dogs up that way we got a good hold on it bring it back into laser and I like to do is bring it forward that way if that log wanted to roll down a little bit Take this little back piece off here. Just to see where we're at. I think I can edge them a 2 by 8 out of that. There we 
go. And we're barely going to clear that so it falls off, but he'll rip it off of there. Everything will work just fine. Get mad at that thing, Eddie. There we go. Look at how he did that. Alright. We're going to take care of that little problem right now. slowly because I got a all right a little bit of a tail hanging out there just gonna try to grab that log deck until I take care of that almost got it off that's going to try to get that log deck. And that's why I'm taking light cuts. Oh, I may have got it there. Just a little piece left. Take another one inch board off. There we go. Now we're going to go for the other face and get an 8 inch parallel. two cuts. Got a little taper going, but it'll be all right. Two inch, I think I can edge that down. Said it actually don't need quite 12 foot, so. Ready a minute here. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll this back one more time. In fact, I'm going to take that top side off right now because that's not going to quite clear the saw. So, we're going to 
we're gonna do a little rotation. We can handle it. Alright, I'll back the knees up a little bit here. And these are harder to turn when they're oblong like this. Yeah. There'll be 90 comments. Your log turner is destroying your log. Well, it's framing lumber. I'm not quite worried about it. But sometimes that's what happens. But no one was harmed in filming of this video. I'm going to take one piece of one by off. Then by the time it gets to an 8 inch can, there'll be almost no wane left on there. Yeah, someone said put rubber tips on the log turner. I don't know how good that would work. Probably be out picking them up every hour. But we'll take care of that problem right now. Let's go back up to the laser. And we're gonna do a little do a little cleanup. A little cleanup, how about that? There we go. Nothing ever happened. Again. by eights. And we're almost there. We're nine and a half. Boom. Alright, let's get it down to the final eight inches. I got serious glare coming in on me right now and it's at the worst place it could be that looks good that looks like eight inches to me nice piece of sheeting there all right let's lay it down and start making some two by eights how's that sound Just scraping like she should be. You want a little bit more, Eddie? I'll take one inch. I'll take one inch. Yeah, a little punky there. But not too bad. He's happy with that. Gotta have Eddie happy. We'll just keep peeling off.
make some nice rafters. And we'll put that other stuff back up and edge it right on the mill. The reason I don't do that on the edger is because the setting on the edger is not going to be as accurate as what we're cutting on this head rig. Because you know when you're framing you don't want to be having something a quarter inch off. Of course our, our modern framing lumber does that to you right now. down to two inches on the scale here and get look at the scale here good enough be some fine lumber in their log. Now there's sort of an egg-shaped one here. about where I wanted it. Get past that other loader arm and shove it tight. We'll give it the master dog. And you see that slightly rolled down when I brought it forward? That's why I do that. Because if I would have took a slab off, the first board would have had a nice, uh, just take a little bit. Now my hydraulics is getting nice and responsive. Beautiful. Take a piece of one by. Now we'll go for a two by. This that thing moaning. Dry log sliding on the head box. All right, let's take this back to the knees. And let's take her to eight inches. I like to put them dogs in. I tell you that all the time. Probably tired of hearing about it, but I like to put them in. thickness here and I don't want to end up with a taper. All right, let's get down to eight inches. Yeah. There 
we go. I'll take a piece of one by offer just to get past that little bit of little bit of worm activity. deck I gotta do something different here so here's what happens when you got them big old nubbies down always oh, something to mess you up all right we'll take care of this problem and paying attention. I just want to get rid of all that. Yeah, a little punky there, Ed. We'll take care of it. That way, this will, the face you're looking at now will be the last piece that comes off. So we'll give it one more. Give them a chance to get caught up here. In fact, that gentleman out there, we sawed his walnut log last week. So maybe we'll talk to him on camera here when we're done. All right, let's finish up what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted by a knot. That's better. Yeah, she's a little soft. Soft. All right, we're back in the light. That looks good. Take a full two inch. Take it down to eight inches. Would you give us a piece of one by again? That way his uh, his rafters will be perfect when he goes to put them up. He needs sheeting anyway, so. Taking it now. All right.
That's soft. Wow. Let's just take that shoulder off. No soft. Take a little bit more now. Yeah, you can see that was. Oh, that's still soft. These logs aren't all that old. They got here this summer. But again, they take trees down for a reason. Oh, let's just take a two. See that dog is sunk down in there. That is just soft. I gotta take a half inch off of that anyway, so I'm not gonna roll it out. By the time I get all that, it's going to be a real pain in a, you know what. Alright, there's our two inches. There's some starter wood for the fire. Always good. You want to edge that stuff? Okay. All right, we're going to take five, so we'll talk to you here. All right, we're in front of the barn barrel. With oh, it felt the, good today. Oh, yeah. And you, tell, you know what? You ended up with some, oh. I would say, better than decent. There you are, two by eights, 12 foot long. And this was the wooden bed that Eddie made on the truck, uh, if you remember that, about what, a year? Yeah. Held up well. Held up very well. So there you go. Wooden bed with Eddie's roof rafters. And we got some sheeting out of it. And I told you I'd show you something about the uh, we the old chop saw here. We went ahead and I bought a centrifugal clutch. And that took all the problems away. And this thing starts up, it'll idle. And as soon as you throttle it up, it engages the blade nice and gently. And... Oh well, it was a little bit extra money, but this problem is solved. And that, that predator is doing a good job. I mean, that thing is uh, that thing is really chopping up some wood for us. But uh, alrighty, everybody. Well, we get you a Friday e video at the same time, edging up your prize lumber. And <laughs> so uh, here's the fellow that bought the walnut. All right. Or not bought it, but no, he's what he, we sold it for him. Yeah. That was a custom saw job. So he said he was going to come up and give us a hand, and he did. So uh, we got to get him used to being around the mill. So, all right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you'll have a little bit more of this on Friday Eve video. So uh, we'll talk to you then. Bye bye. Thank you.